Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. North can govern Sambisa Forest for 100 years, says Afeniferi. Chairman of the Northern Elders Forum had said that the North would rule Nigeria beyond 2023. The Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeniferi, has lambasted the chairman of Northern Elders Forum, Ango Abdullahi, for saying that the North would rule Nigeria beyond 2023. Abdullahi, in a statement, had claimed that the North would hold onto power for the next 100 years. He also stated that the Northern region would only support candidates from the North for the 2023 presidency. But the spokesperson of Anfeni Ferry, Yinka Odumaki, who replied to the statement by the Northern Elder, said Abdullahi was only joking. He announced that President Muhammad Buhari's successor would come from the South, saying congratulations to Angu Abdullahi for making such remark. If they have the ambition of ruling Nigeria for the next 100 years, but let me state that they will only rule their corner for, of Nigeria for 1,000 years and not the country as a whole, Udumaki said. They will take their corner of Nigeria up to Sambisa Forest and govern for a decade. We have no problem with that. As for United Nigeria, going beyond what is obtainable now, I think they are joking. 2023 presidency, based on understanding of what is on ground, the next president of Nigeria should come from the southern part of the country. But to some of us, ultimately, if Nigeria is restructured, it does not matter where the president come from, comes from. In the First Republic, Ahmed Bello sent his lieutenant to the prime minister of Nigeria while he stayed back to the premier of northern Nigeria. And this was because we practiced federalism, but as long as we are locked up under this idea of the president of Nigeria controlling everything, we will continue to be enslaved. The North has reduced Nigeria and has used their power to the detriment of others. So after Buhari's second tenure, power should come back to the southern part of the country, he added. Meanwhile, President Buhari has said that he would not pick a successor. So guys, so this is a back and forth a talk between uh, the North and the South and concerning this uh, 2023. And one thing uh, that is uh, baffling is that nobody is even talking on how to even have a good governance now. Before we even talk of 2023, the thing is just that, okay, everybody, okay, it is your turn to go there and you do whatever you want to do or you misbehave and do whatever you want to do. No, they are not even concerned about people. Now, everybody is talking about 2023. At this age and time, it's just, to me, it's too early. Everything people need to be talking or what people are supposed to be concerned with are the things that are affecting Nigerians. Nobody is talking about that. The other time we heard that a Sinubu presidential can, uh, uh, campaign office has been opened. What has that got to do with uh, 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 every, other, uh, every ordinary Nigeria on the streets? Nigerians are hungry. They are afraid. They can't go anywhere freely. They can't move freely. The economy is something else. The environment is something I see. It's raining everywhere. It's flooded. They are not even concerned about that. They are talking of how, who is going to govern who, who is going to be the president. It's like, it's just like a kind of ceremony. It's just like power will be the one in charge. That is, that is just what we are experiencing. I think people should devote more time on how to have a good governance. Because if we are still talking of who is going to get the power, it's still going to be business as usual. Nobody's ready to do anything. It's just that, okay, it's going to be my turn. That is just what they are concerned about. I think this government should be, you know, be should be they should be followed or marked bumper to bumper. That is what is ob obtainable. And now they have been able, they have succeeded, but not completely, but to a very large extent, in shutting down people, not to even say anything. What is happening now is nothing. They are just parading there. They are just, you know, what they are concerned now is about the budget on how to get money to fund their lifestyles. That is just, that is just all to travel here and there, both local and international. Uh, trip, you know, they are feeding the allowances, the constituency allowance that all these uh, all these governors or all these uh, senators get, the uh, what is it called, the security vote. That is just what they are concerned about, and nobody questions anybody. 
I think that is the most important thing now, not even this year, 2023, because if nobody is saying anything now, if we are not concerned about the economy, about the security, about everything that can make, uh, that can, you know, give somebody a good life. So what are we talking about? It's just, is it just for the election to come? Oh, this is, this is the winner. And everybody will just run around for the election. And the, anybody that emerges will be the president. That is all. And they will just, it will just be business as usual. The restructuring, they say they don't want to restructure. People that want to go their separate way, they say, no, mm -mm, you are going nowhere. Okay, do the needful. Wahala. Restructure, no, no way. So where, what are we living for as Nigerians? What are we really living for? And come to, uh, uh, you know, talk of what uh, uh, Ian Kaudumaki is saying. I think it is even lies in the hands of the people because even the people that you are talking about because the same thing that happened you are saying something different you're, the people on ground they are, they are thinking something different majority of the people that we vote they are thinking of how to get 10,000 naira 5,000 naira 2,000 naira one cup of gari one cup of a uh, 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 whatever all those uh, mini, 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 mini things that cannot even sustain somebody more than two hours or three hours those are the things that the real people the real Nigerians that we vote, those are the things those ones are even concerned about. They are the ones that will go to the field to go and vote. What is their lifestyle? That is the problem now. Now you can say whatever you want to say. The, the big wigs, the, the, the ones who have a, a, what it takes to manipulate this set of people that are always going to the field to go and vote. Those people, they know how to manipulate them and they will do the, the, the unusual and the people you see that see people will still go there and do what they want to do. It's not by it's coming or it's going to come to the south or whatever. We you know what happened as Buhari uh, 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 came into power again the second time. We know people the, the, the people that really voted for him. So you Kaudumaki should just not even be thinking of uh, you know relying on his people or or some people or from the south. This is because like I always say, every of these people who do not want Nigeria to grow. It is not, they are not just from one region. They are, uh, you know, all over the place, across board. Across board because of what they are going to get. Those are the people that are representing us at, uh, representing us at various levels. They are not ready for the growth of Nigeria. They are just ready for, for the growth of their, of, of their addition, of their pocket. That is what they are concerned about. And those are the ones that will, that will manipulate the minds of the real people, the real Nigerians that always go and vote. So if anyone is talking of uh, this, because the people, they, it's very, very rare that you see, you know, some, some region that will say they want to stand on their own. They really want to, to say, okay, this is the way we want to go. But at the end of the day, what happens? I think most, what is important is for us to continue to seek for good governance. That is just what it's, it's, it's supposed to be. So that is my own opinion concerning all this one they are talking about. Whether you want to rule for 100 years or 1 million years or you want to be deaf. Uh, forever and ever good and fine the most important thing is that let's let's all have let us have good uh, governance let things be okay these guys they always go elsewhere they always go outside the country they see what what happens there right from time immemorial they always go there then you don't you just ask them then what do they go there to do it is wickedness it's not as if they don't know what to do it is out of wickedness they don't want to nobody say even think replicate what you are seeing over there come and replicate it here even if you don't want to replicate it there morally you know things that are good for you you don't even need anybody to tell you okay these are the things that we need for us to have a you know comfortable life of course they are living comfortably so that is why it is not it is not a their problem if nigerians are okay or not the only time they will need them they just set money to give to people who really go to defeat to go and vote they set money to start giving them uh, ankara to start giving them Gary, you know, printing their names on it at this age and time. They are not ashamed of themselves. And these are the so-called people. They tell you that they, they, they went to school. They are educated. Majority of them, they will print all manner of things, put their, put their this thing there. Be sharing food. Be sharing granules. Be sharing coconuts. Those are the things that they will be sharing. And at the end of the day, let them come to power. Nothing. Because they have spent a whole hell of money to get there. So they are not ready for you. They will just be telling you Things that you want to hear, they will be singing rhetorics, you know, saying all manner of things, reading speeches that does not have life. Those speeches don't have life. The speeches, no action. They are not backed with action. They will just read it. You'll just be hearing a uh, seminar upon seminar. 
What do they do in that seminar? Seminar upon seminar, committee upon committee, onto what? Onto nothing. So guys, uh, it's really, it is really pathetic. It's really pathetic that everybody just talking about twenty twenty three. Oh, it will go to the south. It it will go to this and this and that. Okay, the people who are having the power now, what have they done? What difference have they made? So guys, I would like to hear from you. Leave your comments below, and let's hear your own take concerning what a a Fanny Ferry spokesperson said that North can govern Sambisa forest for 100 years that the you know for for what is on ground now it's supposed to come back to the south are you sure that he, he even knows what he's talking about or he really believes that people will not even change their mind and do something different because i don't know because even me too i'm just like i'm really i'm not really i'm really confused because nigerians you can't even you can't trust them even with nigerians tomorrow now somebody will tell you oh this and that today tomorrow it, the person will just change his mind he will be like ah is he not expecting that we're talking you know we're on the same you know on the same level we are reasoning together all of a sudden they will be telling you something now but they have another thing at the back of their mind once you are not there they do something else so are those are they the people that is really relying on or they have another magic they want to used in doing all of these things so also guys leave your comments below in the comment section thank you very much bye